Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ironside cast. With me Matt, we have a 2v2 for you all here on the map Wolf Etze on the Western Front. Let's go for the players. Representing the British today, we have GRT Giffen as Royal Mechanized Regiment. Representing the United States with Rifle Company, we have Smokey. Representing the Axis today, we have Carla Fimo as Panzer Division for the Wehrmacht. And Sorzo with Jäger Tactics for the Waffen-SS. An early engagement will be Echelon engaging with the Stuart Pioneers in the center. Well, you can see this battle turns out. Wolf Hetze, it's like a map from Coming Heroes 1, I believe. This was converted to Coming Heroes 2, but still looks Eastern Front-ish. Guess they didn't use the uh, Western Front style for the map, but that's fine. We are fighting near railroad somewhere in, in Europe. British troops are now uh, engaging alongside the Americans. Trying to apply a lot of fire here towards the Storm Pioneers. First rifle section does arrive with a Bren gun after all, which is pretty useful. Having like a light machine gun with you from the start is a pretty good compensation for having much smaller squads. The British squads are generally pretty good at what they do, but the Germans have a good cover position here. And Storm Pioneers are pretty damn good at what they do, actually. So far getting good shots there on the uh, on the British rifle section because they only have light cover. Just not providing nearly enough defense. I guess the back rifle could actually have moved up here to get closer. They also have some Jaegers now arriving here for the uh, SS, some fighting pioneers. I feel that rifle section needs to get out of there. There's lots of shots are going that way. We even have the Grenadiers on the flank here from the Wehrmacht. Trying to apply pressure. And they actually took down the, the rifle section. The other rifle section can grab that Bren gun again. We also have a couple of Argon MG-34 suppressing the Americans. Rifle section now behind heavy cover. Which should increase their firepower. And, well, not really firepower, but survivability drastically. Also, Pioneer is surviving here for the Waffen SS. And the Grenadiers are just having a long firefight here. Both sides are fighting very hard here. It's also shots being exchanged. We also have the Sappers down here being overrun. Been taken out by the Pioneers and another squad of Grenadier. Grenadiers are slowly suffering loss here to the British. But the British will soon start dropping mortals, I think. Once they do that, firepower will start to get lessened dramatically. Who we'll rifle against a good few, a few kills? It's gonna force the British off. I forgot to mention this also a victory point map. So, uh, victory points are 750, so the Germans are actually losing points at the moment. I can quickly bring in 30 kilobytes inside the central structure. Or near central structure, but northern one. But I start to lay down some suppressive fire. They need to work fast. 30 kilobytes are opening fire, but it is the water cooled one, so its rate of fire is not that big. But it's still a decent machine gun. A machine gun is a machine gun. Post the good ideas back. But the uh, riflemen are having issues back here. You know, the southern flank is now firmly in German hands. They're quickly advancing to secure more ground. Which is our taking up behind us. Getting both the troop command and a company command post. You know, the US riflemen just keep holding on. We have another machine gun arriving, another 30 caliber. The Americans intend to dig in somewhat. But it's not a bad call when they're playing as Rifle Company. Rifle Company is very defensive, I believe. Gonna kill an MD-34 uh, with the Kubelwagen. And then completely crewed. We do have an MD-34 squad available too. Everybody's also got their research logistics, which is new to the British, where they upgrade everything and pick hammer and anvil. A lot of interesting things here they can do. But it's now sending more troops out, more Royal Sabbers. Time to apply some pressure down here. Our pioneers are moving up quick. And that's gonna be a dead rifle section, I think. And the cover is directional. Pioneers do fall back, though. And the Agarians are lining up more of their machine guns to cover the northern flank. Rifle grenade's been used getting a good rifle grenade there, actually. But they still pull back. They cannot remain. And meanwhile, the Americans are threatening the German fuel points. Rear echelon troops on the front 
and securing more ground. You also have some blue and grey in the field, some cheaper riflemen you can get if you're playing as rifle company. MP42 in the field, pin down a lot of the British in between almost instantly, as you can see. And also an MG-34 coming up here for the Wehrmacht. I was trying to lay mines, but it's a little bit too late. But some mines do still uh, pop up because of it. So for the Germans on the back foot point-wise, but they have a lot of good units to prepare forwards with. The yeah, Wehrmacht is being handed out to the Falchion Pioneers. But the 30 calibers are painting them. Especially with two 30 calibers that can cover each other. Good rifle grenade though, doing more damage. And we have the Stoom Pioneers coming up with the MP40s. Clearing up one of them. And we'll sap us on the rear. So far they're preparing some tank traps and check hedgehogs, but I don't think that's gonna work out for them. Just got ideas about to arrive. I'm gonna take some pot shots. And those sappers probably wanna get out of there. Oh, pretty damn painful right there. But the uh, no, the 30 caliber MG44 is up up here. Because uh, we're trying to get that 30 caliber back, but too late. The British troops are taking shots here. They brought out their own Vickers machine gun, though. MG42 sitting up behind the sandbags here, quick. But I couldn't be suppressed by the Vickers. But I think the MG42 can win out that engagement just because it's an MG42. Five grade also going out. Oh, good one at that too, killing a squad. Players going overhead. Because it's been pinned. Which allows the Grenadiers to get safety behind cover here. And the MG44 moves up. So I can just cycle that fire. You also have a six pounder coming up here, but that's not gonna do much. Allies have brought out a crowd mower though. Half track with the uh, quad 50 caliber machine guns. You also have a 2, two, two, two to 1 arriving here for the Wehrmacht. But it needs to be cautious when there's a six pounder around. All right, it's been used by, here by the Waffen says they want to take out that structure. Makes sense. That's not been the easiest task for them. A rifle grenade. Then I actually cleared out the machine gun. They popped in the building. A building might soon collapse. I think both those buildings are actually prone to collapsing now. Smoke grenade. As the grenadiers rush in, but it might still be mines. So far, it's working out for them though. Ninety four twos are really just laying down fire here. There's one just remains around, not doing much yet. Costume guard has been prepared by the British. Unique to Royal Mechanized, I believe. Royal Me and they are equipped entirely with American equipment, I believe. Which makes them kind of stand out somewhat, because they are with M1 Garands and Thompsons rather than uh, the Enfields. Rob uh, Moa is ready to act to get into action soon. And it's 4F1 coming up for the Wehrmacht. Not the vehicles for the Waffen SS yet. They're relying a lot of their unique Jaegers, which is cool to see. We rarely see people go heavy into the Jaegers when uh, they're playing as a Jaeger, I think. But the Falchion Pioneers are pretty neat. See no loud action at the moment. Both sides are trying to figure out what to do next. Makes sense. Pretty Calibus machine guns are hand out to the riflemen. Unique upgrades if you're playing as US rifle. It's one on the move. Has been equipped with a Rad Panzer, so it has increased the armor. New 50%. A 50% increased armor. Which can actually really help. But then as the same rifle, it's still penetrated. Now they suppressed it. The call is rifle tried to hit, but missed. Problem more on the move. The 
Your plus five will hit. I'm also pressing the uh, pioneers with the Panzerbüchse. Tank Hunter squad is on the field though. Hans Jaegers. Must be a full veterancy here for the Jaegers. They invested fully in veterancy for their support units. Good wife great there. Wait, have Falcon Pioneers considered support units? That might be why then. Answer 4 f one doing a lot of work here. But yeah, if Falcon Pioneers consider support units, that would explain a lot. Because that means a lot of good veterancy for them. I assume they are. Storm Pioneers consider support units after all. And he's on the move again, advancing. Moving over open ground. Still some mines though. But the Panzer 4 F1 is certainly gonna help. He sends the Allies bring some kind of AT gun up. That was shell did not hit. So it looks like the machine gun might actually be able to get away, but it needs to act quick. Uh, more forces the Spanish Pioneers back. Hangs like shot and clears up the crew. You also have another anti tank. Oh no, anti air have back here for the uh, British. This is the M15. Also provided by the United States, I believe. And with two 50 calibers and a auto cannon, I believe. Not a unique little vehicle. We do have a 57mm coming out here for the United States. And also tank on the section with Piats. Try and see if they can hunt down that Panzer. We got a pack rolling up here for the Wehrmacht, the pack 40. And the 54 is still just causing issues being pointed towards that, which, that AT gun. Blue and Grey are trying to get into positions. Panzer 4 one clearing out the southern flank. Also, the American Sub of a small mortar, though, the M2. 60mm mortar, small, but fairly useful, I think. Personally. Americans having issues dealing with all these fighting pioneers. Fine, heavy cover. But they give F 43s, they actually have a fair amount of firepower. And some four on the move. But some needs to be cautious. But the allies are lacking if to spot it. Here's trying to take a shot. Managed to hit. Well aimed shot right there, actually. That pants the boys to pull back for repairs for a while. The cash is now being prepared by the United States. Yes, they need to get some more resources out. Each of Sherman is being prepared by the United States too. No further vehicles from the British. We see Tech Up coming out further for the Waffen SS. The Wehrmacht is trying to secure the southern flank still. Coldstream Guard are trying to get in their way to stop it. And with a Brain Gun now. But that's an MP42. No spawn, they don't do much there, they have to pull back. H.S. Sherman is arriving now for the United States. Basic workhorse tank of the United States and also just overall the Western Allies. Pretty decent tank in my opinion. I like the Sherman personally. Always thought his design was fairly neat. neat. Second Sherman also being prepared behind us and we also have a pack card, sir. 75mm small howitzer weapon. Good little support artillery. Wonder where this Germans will strike first. Germans have dug in, but they lack heavy anti tank. I don't think Panzerbüchsers can deal with Germans. They also have an Unterstumfuhr arriving now. Being equipped with some Gewehr for the himself. 
And 15 on the move, but he needs to be cautious with the pack around. Shimmer's on the move, but he needs to support of some kind. And again, there's a lack of AT equipment. Pat Strike is being upgraded now in the Pats Yegas. Which will, which will be able to deal with the uh, Sherman. They've actually been able to hold fire, which is smart. M15 got destroyed by the pack. Oh, the Sherman has arrived for the allies. Sherman's quick on the move here. Oh, Mortar hits the Panzer Jägers. And that allows the Sherman to target them down with the machine guns. And now, the buff this is iron. Big shit. Although I do think these guys have... Oh no. Oh no. The fire ship pioneers have no anti tank equipment. Whatsoever. So it's up to these storm pioneers with a flamethrower. It's not gonna work. But well, it's certainly stunning the tank. Pack 40 is trying to be relocated. Time to get in a position to take a shot beyond the Sherman. As the tank has been severely slowed thanks to the flames. But if the Americans can just keep pressing now, it could cause a lot of damage. Half Cloud pushing up, Panzer 4 on the move. Panzer got that in 57, they took it out. But there's another Sherman coming. Which might be able to hit that Panzer 4 as it tries to scream around the front line. But a good shot there on the side. Panzer 4 still trying to see if they can back out, but looks like it won't. There we go, Panzer 4 taking out. Panzer 4 remains around here, they need to take out that uh, pack. Just a few more bullets to do it. There we go, they cleared it out. So Officer Sherman can keep causing issues. Not a pack quicker roller here by the Jaegers. Sherman is already quite slow due to its engine problems from the flamethrower. Pack on the side, but side armor's not a thing in company appearance too. Explosive being loaded here by the Sherman. Engine burning now. Sherman is in big trouble. And ammo cooked there. As you can see, with fire spewing up. Oh, the Sherman is advancing down here though. Mortar actually hit on top of the optics. That can't happen. Mortar cleared out though. This is going to allow the British to slowly advance. That could pretty mean turn around to deal with this other Sherman. Got a good shot there, critical hit no less. That's going to force the Sherman back. Sherman 76 coming out here for the British. That's more American infantry being prepared. Plus another Sherman. But the Allies currently have triple victory points held. The Germans are going to lose a lot of points quickly. Uberstock G arriving here for the Wehrmacht. Try and show up the front line. Then we go to Sherman 76 now, available to the British Commonwealth. I think available from Hammer? Or something? Or it might just be a Royal Mechanized thing. Well, I know. Let me see it down here. Let's see. I think it's this one, IBA. Not sure what, where it's from, though, but I, I'm pretty sure it's a US mechanized, uh, British mechanized thing, but I could be wrong. Haven't played the British in ages, especially after the reworks. But the Sherman is underway. It's gonna encounter the Grenadiers down here soon. So the Grenadiers are going to try and see if they can overwhelm with the Panther Power so they can get close. Sherman has to start backing off. Ooh, too late. I think the Grenadiers can flank here. Why are the Panther Fausting? Did you forget to click the button? 
Now they have the stock to deal with. Stock got a good shot there. So Shiv has to back off. And the stock also has an MG42 on top now, making it a lot more lethal. Able to deal with infantry as well that tries to get close. Shim also to move on an open flank. Germans have prepared a trench that work somewhat, but how long will it hold? Pax is quickly turning around. We also have the flag 36 opening fire. Good shot there from the pack. Tortic now. Shim just advanced. It's getting going to be a lot easier for the pack to penetrate the closer it gets. Pack also opening fire. Optics damage. Let's get around the pack's field of fire, which is working. Pack also destroys the team. Need to focus down that Hansa HQ. Stonewall blocked the shot, though. One more shot, and that should actually kill the Gunners. Hansa is quickly trying to get on the flank here. Gunner killed. They will be able to take out this Sherman, I think. Getting close enough here for a Panzer. No, they're doing a Panzer Knager. Taking it out. No, not Panzer Knager, Ponga. Panzerwurf Mina. It still works. Full stream guards are still massing around. Keeping the Grenadiers at bay for the moment. Another Stook is being prepared. Repairs quickly going in here on the wreck of the Sherman to get some more resources back. Oh, it's a smart thing to do if you're playing as the Waffen SS. Or just the Germans in general, actually. The Germans can do a lot of scavenging. This German being called to the front line. It's a small 60 millimeter mortar, more, still doing issues. It's surprisingly nice to have a small cheap mortar. Fires first. Even if, they, if, they, if the explosions aren't big, they can do some damage, as you can see. It applies pressure. And the British are still trying to advance down here. How long they'll make it this time? The guy here's not ready to open fire. I'll oh, go to Sherman 76 ready again. But I think the Sherman 76 needs, really needs that 50 caliber on top. Personally. Too quickly in the move here. Trying to get down here to counteract the Sherman. That's a penetrate this time. Jump trying to get closer here to get a clear shot. No penetration. No penetration again. The Stuk G's funnel armor is pretty reliable. Especially long range. It does need to stay at max range here. Oh, low range here. Sherman's armor is holding up too, though. They still have a little bit of a duel going on. But I think this Sherman might have to consider pulling back. Like, oh, they lost the driver for a bit. And Stark takes it out. My Lord, tank's been lost. And the Bafta is still holding on. A Sherman presence. Hackhouse and small mortar still opening fire. Also have an American 30 caliber machine gun there. The right play comes in, only killing one American. We have a Sherman fire plan now being prepared by the British. They also have a 17 pounder somewhere. Looks like it's holding up here in the center. PS to watch the Stuk. One penetrates and kills it! PS is actually pretty lethal if they hit. And penetrate, that is. Now 
I should not be drinking this much Fanta. Oh, well, they're so sugary today. Ugh. Would like more shot that, not a right fleet. Not doing much damage this time. I think it used to speak a little bit more again because I've actually begun working now. I got a job. Yay. That's gonna take on a little bit more of my days, but if I get more replays, I'm still gonna try and get the replays done in a timely manner. Yes, I have to focus on my job now as well. Sure, I don't work as much as other people do, but it's work, and I'm glad I'm able to actually get a get a job. You know, makes me feel a little bit better about myself. And this front line is still holding, but for how long? I wonder. Mercats are still trying to apply pressure. Blue and Grey moving up, but Blue and Grey are easy to hit. Blue and Grey are considered low quality infantry, so they're very easy to hit outside of cover. I think the stock is holding on alongside some granite, some more human infantry. Also, have an alpha cloud keeping an eye on things. Got some guards trying to advance. Alpha help and take some shots. But they're out in the open though, making them a little bit easier to hit. Oh, we have the Firefly with Tulip Rockets. Which should have 117 power up. I'm not doing too much damage, but it does take, kill the gunner on top. And a good shot there. 17 power is actually doing a, good, a lovely bit of work. Tulip Rock is fine. Doing some good damage there to the fortifications and killing a squad, I think. Let's get these socks off. I feel a sore from working today. I walk around in security boots, so, uh. No, oh, it's I have to wear security boots in my work environment, but. It makes my feet sore until I'm used to it. Let me just get them up here. Ah. Oh, that's a lot better. Having them up on the stool like this. Ah, a little bit more relaxed. A firefly in the film for the British. Let's see what are the Germans doing. The Germans are getting a pan for tank. And another stock G. Let's see Carlo Fimo going for the stocks. So we really see people actually use stocks, but stocks I believe are actually fairly affordable and fairly reliable, all things, all things considered. Now, compared to the Panzer IV, eh, it's not that big of a difference. But the stock is a stock. Sometimes you just have to go with the stock life, you know. But here we have a pan for A present for the Jaegers. We're just gonna make a, a lot harder to fight them off in the sense with vehicles. The pan for is a very good tank. Great troops are trying to advance, but tank hunters cannot seize territory. You need actual combat infantry for that. Firefly being, being repaired on the front line. An American uh, machine gun having issues. Time to reload quickly. But I think these fashion pioneers might actually hold on. They may equip an MPV 15. They are in a trench. And now the Panthers on the move. And Panthers are very hard to fight, as I've stated before. Panthers have more frontal armor than tigers do, so uh, they are not an easy nut to crack. At least from the front. Now they're more in trouble. I suppose I'm loaded. What is going on? Uh, Fireflies trying to advance down here, dealing with some, a pack of stocks. I think the stocks will win this one. Playing a heat round. Fireflies still holding on. But another heat, heat shot takes it out. Stocks are probably a good counter to fireflies, all things considered. Panther keeps advancing. Artillery also being called in here. Sherman has to wait for its other support. And now that Sherman says 75 is in trouble. Ooh, yeah, crew dazed.
And it's not moving. Just staying there making it an easy target for the panther. They need to move around and force that panther into a vulnerable position. Somewhere, somehow. The Firefly is having an issue here because the Firefly is just preloading fire. Another pack being pulled up here quick. And the Panther helps the German secure some more ground. But the Allies now losing victory points. Even if it is slowly. I feel the allies really need to step up what they do here. Oh, good shot there from the 57. Nice little penetration. But if you have a still to be cautious of the Shermans. 76 is trying to spring into action. Have a good shot. Entering the driver. Smoke being popped. Very smart. To be popped in and returned by the some fuel. Firefly still holding on down here, but it's turning around. But it gets out of stock range. Lots of AT guns are now being prepared by the United States. Another 3 inch, another Sherman 76. Lots of Shermans. It's good to see. The Fast Pioneers are causing issues. We dodged their body with some fuel. We're going to go quickly and roll it here by the United States. Pan for the move somewhere. And stuck moving for the sender. It's the Germans intent to try and secure the sender now. But it's a 17 pounder keeping an eye on the sender. The Germans need to be somewhat cautious. But they can hit that 17 pounder without it firing back at the moment. I think they need to turn to face that, that uh, panther. But I guess the British players focus down here. More blue and grey taking heavy losses. We have to have three Shermans now. Which could coordinate. As I said, there's a lack of AT equipment. So if the Shermans can get around a flank and coordinate, they can take out a panther pretty damn fast. Since the powder cleared out. Sounds like a stuke got destroyed by something. Looks like it was the firefly. You also have an American captain on the field. A little bit risky for him to be so close to the front line, but he is an uh, rifleman captain, so. As that's why he is in the front. Trying to call in an artillery strike. But he's facing a lot of fire. But the shields are preparing to move. Half a squad you're turning around. Shields on the move. But a good shot, that driver injured. And Panther, Panther take note. And then the one of fives land. Shields work very well co coordinating because they get this. Radio net ability, which really improves them. So you actually want to bunch Shermans up to fight together like this. I think they're not also supposed to fight with their 30 calibers. There's a Panzer Jäger though. Took out one Sherman. Stark took a big hit, big hit. I suppose around loaded. Panzer Strike hits it though. Stark taken out. Oh, well, clear it out rather. As Sherman has to pull back. 
Look at the kids. But it manages to back off. But this is going on. The Brits are trying to advance on here, but the Tulip Rockets are not really intended for dealing with, with static positions. They're intended for dealing with vehicles, so they just flew over the pack. Clearly did not help. The allies are still losing points. I dare say the Germans still went out in that situation, but they are not having all the vehicles at the moment. That's practically all their armor support in these few engagements. They need to get some new vehicles somehow. Unless they think static infantry positions can hold. Like they, they could, potentially, if they equip them, probably. This is just doing that. Some guys trying to apply pressure there to the pack. And we have the pack. I think the fireflies will start to move to six shots at the bunker. But the bunker is fairly hard to hit, actually. That's a slow silhouette. Unless you do that. I guess they can still hit it. It is a static point, so. Tag is being recruited. They do they use a 30 calibers on them. Which can do some work. We have the Germans advancing up here again. I think the American Rifle Commander is equipped to dealing with all this infantry at the moment. It's allowing the Germans to just slowly advance. Shannon 76 is trying to do its best here to try and prevent it. Attack moving around. And the Fighting Pioneers are trying to get to more cover positions to try and take out the infantry support. Pineapple Grenade tossed their way though. Forced them to run back. 50 caliber has been equipped on the Sherman. They know a lot of supports of fire now. And down here, the Firefly is still fighting, alongside some Colstrom Guards. Into 4 2 and Pack trying to do their best. Even more artillery called in. Looks like, looks like not a lot happened though, so uh, I think the allies are fine. Fireflies on the move. But a Panther tank is being prepared by the Waffen SS. Ooh, Panzer hits the Sherman! Ready for action. And here's the new Panther on the field. Veterans are two now, thanks to the Kampfkraft Center. Looks like Salt is doing a good job actually using the Kampfkraft Center. Now going for vehicle veterans free. So this pan will become a veterans free pan for soon. Packards are doing his best, more shows are being prepared. It's slowly shifting into some kind of tank battle. The Allies don't have any commanders with the heaviest gear. This Panther could be a very big issue. Shimmer's going to take some shots. Panther did not penetrate this time. It can happen. Shimmer's do have fairly decent front lava. Good shots there from the 76ers. And they do fire faster because of the radio nets. And before we decide it has to pull back. At least for now. And now with three Shermans, they can actually get the full bonus of radio net, I think. The 
The Blades have a hard time pushing across here. The Jones of this area kind of locked down. And now they also got their own pan file to help support. So we have very powerful pan for some of the field now. The bridges do have fireflies. Ooh, oh, fireflies taking big hits though from the panther. But the allies are preparing to push to the center with the vehicles. Hmm, they might be preparing a new offensive somewhere. They might plan to circle southwards to clear out that front line. Firefly missed. Panther does not miss. Shimmer's on the move. They want to try and overrun that Vambuck Panther. Packs are setting up though. Panther backs off. Smoke pops. Sherman pulls back. I think the Shermans just have to consider pulling back now. They've overextended a little bit. Tulu Bravo is again trying to aim for a static emplacement. That's not what you're supposed to do with them. Allies pull their tanks back. They need some repairs quickly. We also have some SS Jaegers on the field now. Not a unique squad available to Waffen SS Jäger. Half are preparing to move forwards now. Powering the Firefly. Taking it out in one shot. The Panthers are hunting for the Germans. Oh, they moved to take out the 17 pounder actually. Quite a smart move. And a nice 17 pounder for the Allies. Germans are moving for the central victory point where they get hit by a mine. Germans are in trouble. Ooh, Germans have barely survived that. Am I ready, ready, ready to free? You can get higher. Okay. But the tank hunters are trying to hit the sides here with the Piets. Who almost take out one Panther. German Firefly complete. You also have a Achilles out soon, I think. Yeah, this is an Achilles. An American M10 arm with a 17 pounder, I think. And the allies have to repair those Shermans quick. But they are getting a lot of Shermans, so they should be fine if they can hold. The Panthers are just trying to hold on. More folks going to need to be prepared for the Wehrmacht. And 10 pushing out. Or to hit infantry though, which is not very good for it. The allies need to get the victory points to stop the bleed. I guess the wave had fifth Sherman. Looks tank support is here. Sherman ready. Which I guess works. Heavy machine gun team ready for orders. Gun needs orders. Five Shermans. If they can all coordinate, they can do a lot of damage, I think. It doesn't get really, uh, higher than Raid Unit 3, good to know. But it does mean if you have four American vehicles working in close proximity, they all get buffed. Because they coordinate with each other. Ooh! Attilis took a good, uh, good shot there on the Panther, forcing it back. So the sappers are doing that, trying to move out to try and finish this sand back while on the fire. Not a wise thing. One of five shells landings uh, sporadically. 
Shows will be paying to move into an attack formation. But he needs to move fast, I think. Shows moving into positions. Get some more water here. Shim is quick in time to move. They might be preparing to loot a path as into an ambush. Indeed, they are. They were making a path a turn to try and face, but they are the Shim sprung the attack. But they are still taking loss on the front. One path down. Shim is keep advancing. Ooh, the ships just keep advancing. But the Panther has been has been disabled. I was going straight into the German base. Panther got taken out. That's a pretty big loss for the Germans, actually, because Panthers are not easy to replace. But the Germans do suffer heavy losses. We should probably try and pull that Sherman back. Now the base infantry is trying to advance. The enemy is determined, and we are down to 300 points. But the allies need to grab your points now. They need more infantry at the field to do so. They are applying a lot of pressure. So far, the Germans are still holding them at bay. The MG 42s are just so lethal. Sherman fires to push around but gets hit by a pack. Yeah, because that's a good descender though. I feel like the, uh, the allies need to get another unit into the uh, victory point down there. Because they're still bleeding points. And German is still fairly healthy. They should be able to push the allies back soon if they keep this up. We have another Sherman arrive on the north flank for the uh, Wehrmacht. Not the Wehrmacht, the Americans. I bet. I bet. I'm... Ugh. Yeah, I'm still a little bit tired from work, can you tell? <laughs> Guards are now finally moving to secure the southern victory point. Which will stop the allied pleader points. Unless the mortar hits him straight on, like that. I know German mortars are fairly accurate, so... Uh, but they do decapture the point, so the bleeding is stopped. I'm taking a look at the Nordputs, and we have another pan for being prepared. And looks like we have a Tiger tank being prepared by the Wehrmacht. Which could certainly be a big deal. But the Tiger Tank has weaker frontal armor than the Panther, so it might have to be easier penetrated than uh, by the Shermans than previously. That said, it does have an 88mm, which will insta-kill most allied vehicles, I believe, on penetration. Unlike the long-barreled um, 76 that the uh, Panther has. Here's a secure to summon victory point again. Allies really are on the clock. They're down to 250 points soon. Metal, no, not looking too good for the allies. Fire pioneers are not getting very far here. But yeah, the other Panther has arrived. This one being equipped with a Panzer RPC rather than a MD42 on top to improve its tank to tank combat effectiveness. And here we have the Tiger tank. It's the course of the Achilles, though. Panther pushes up. Taking a good shot there. 
actually killing the people in the turret. Hamper just pushes forward. There's very few things here to stop it. As Sugas and Pierce are trying to fight the Tiger. 17 pounder turning around to deal with the uh, Panther. A ball hits straight on it. Looks like uh, a Suga appeared to start the main gun of the Tiger, though, forcing it back. At least briefly. As they have to thin that gun out again. I have to try and take a shot in the Sherman. Then good shot at that. Forces the Sherman back again. But it's certainly not doing the good in the armor department, though. The ship can, the uh, Panther can start advancing again. And the Tiger tank is almost ready again. There we go. Now we have the Tiger tank moving. We also have a second Panther around here for the Jaeger, so lots of heavy armor for the Germans. Lots of very potent vehicles. But it's probably someone at a loss of what to do. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. We also have a command tank of Hazard 2 Luke's. Working on securing the southern flank. Have a pushing up here. Sherman is not prepared for this. Ammo cooked. And Germans to secure more of a flank. It is not looking good for the Allied forces. Doing a great time to get close. Doing a grenade assault. On the uh, trench with the machine gun. Very smart. Actually playing it out. That's pretty useful if just they had more infantry to push up behind it. Germans are trying to secure the central victory point again. But they get hit by a mine, so that's basically not gonna work. Panzer 2 in command and uh, Tiger Tank pushing forwards. The Allies are suffering in how to deal with this. But that Firefly is just gonna drive forwards out into it, it's just gonna die. The Tiger is, after all, a really damn good tank. Hatsu Command Tank took a hit by, uh, from the free inch. Panther tried to flank around wide up here. Facing another free inch. Free inch penetrated though. Fifty seven also maintains. Was the Panther backwards? The packs of the center just keep having issues. Being under a lot of fire. But so is that machine gun from an MT42, no less. Tiger tank gonna move down for the sender. It's because I could have opened up a flanking maneuver here for the British. Guards on the move. Wood driver injured. Got hit by a free inch. Remember, the, the Tiger's frontal armor is not as good as the Panther, so it can't be potentially easy at range. Ooh, it's still for holding on. Sherman's are moving forward. Moving straight into a pack front. But Tiger Tank has been cleared out. And the Panther's on the move, smoking pops. That's actually very smart to cover the retreat. That's actually really well played. Panther still gonna try and take a shot through the smoke. Oh, never mind. Oh, the, uh, the British sneak into the Tiger! That's gonna force the Germans to destroy it. Like that. Oh, it got cleared out again! Wow. That is unique. 
But the Allies still need to secure a victory point. Doing very job into the Tiger. But it gets cleared out again. And two gets cleared out. All the sides are just trying to take this Tiger for themselves, I think. It's become a little bit of a landmark now in this point in the fight. A panther being prepared by the Wehrmacht. Double Wehrmacht says Panther could head southward soon. Trying to take a shot there at the Firefly. I like Fires, but doesn't do anything. Mission blocked down the Firefly. Tulip rockets firing. Take out the Panther. That's what you're supposed to do with the Tulip rockets. Hang on a second, it's not doing too well though. Not a reserve panel thing is being pulled up though. And the Allies still have their Sherman 76s being repaired back here. This has become a little bit of an un un con uh, unconventional fight. It's just a lot of tanks and a lot of uh, headbutting, it feels like. But it's been some very good headbutting. Also, the Tiger just got completely wrecked this time. Jeremy didn't want to take any chances. Don't want the Allies to get hands on the wreck of it. Ooh, good shot there from the Panther, but that's actually do a lot. Jeremy starts to advance again. We also have some SS fights being now holding the northern flank. Very lead infantry. Time for some take some shots here. So far, it's winning out at the longest ranges. The infantry trying to secure the southern victory point, being prevented by the sappers. We do have some Ostrich uh, Line Panzer Division Grenadiers coming in to take it. Time for pushing forwards. We do have a land matches now for the British Commonwealth. Trying to lay some suppressive fight in on the German lines. Widespread rocket fire. Ooh, getting some good hits somewhere actually. Artillery shells coming in, being called in by the captain. 105 shields just landing widely. But the Allies are still very low on points compared to the Germans. If the Germans can make a comeback here at some point, they can just completely sweep over the Allies, I think. Allies are fighting this on the knee on the thin thread of a needle. Let's just keep an eye out. Of course, we're advancing forwards. American captain trying to hold the front line. Still fires an invisible gun. He's really good at his finger finger guns. Up on point threatened. Firefly took got a good shot there. I'm not a good shot. Sherman's on the move. But that's a lot of vehicles they're going into now. That's a lot of Panthers that are coordinating. One Panther down though. But I feel that Sherman push might not have been a good idea. Only taking up one pan for. Well, I get what they were going for. Barfly doing his best here, trying to hold the front now on its own. Still, auto attack. Ooh, yeah. Two rockets though. One hits, but doesn't do anything.
Yeah, it's not looking good here. The German forces are going to start advancing again soon, I think. How much happening on the northern flank? Packhouse is just being a little bit of a nuisance. Another is going to field. So far, since we have quieted down somewhat. And another Panther running for the Wehrmacht. So lots of Panthers for the Germans today. And the Allies just have suffered so many tank losses, it's very hard for them to replace them. Land match or something, fire again. Not hitting too much in this area. Never mind, that's he did hit some uh, stuff up there, okay. And just forget the land match, it's very widespread. But now the Baffin says if is advancing up using all the tank wrecks. And the British infantry is just standing out in the open. Not a lot of cover options out here, but they could use the sandbags down there. Paths just slowly trying to form up in a cohesive unit again. Stuck finally taken out there by the handful, no less. Just denying more of the re of the abandoned vehicles. The allies need to push. They uh you have to just sit back and wait at this point. That match is firing again. The path is doing a pretty good job here. Take down another firefly there. And yet another path for coming up for them after this. Ain't gonna destroy it. Go pause that Panther back. But the Allies are somewhat in desperation mode now, I feel. Because the Germans can just hold down the points and they're about to win because of it. We are so quickly can answer the point. Might be able to decap at this one, but I need to at least take one. What's the recall here by the United States? I suppose we load here on the Falschimirge. Decent shot. Did some good damage to most of the models. But you have still just keeping an eye on all the points. They landed a bleed, but it's still gonna bleed until they decapture one of these. Oh, instant smoke! That actually saved him for a bit. But now the Sherman is gone. And, sure, and the Panthers can just prepare to press back. And now Panthers are ready to roll out again. Oh, Panther got destroyed here by the 3 inch. And a firefly running here for the British. Doesn't penetrate. And it's not really working out for the allies at all. Hampers advancing up. 
Ich habe Fire Glide geguckt. Und alle Infos ist es, die ihn komplett pinned out on the open. And we're taking this point, the allies should start bleeding points again. You always have to hold on for 30 more points or so. The allies really need to do something. Or what? What can they even do? At this point, it's quite clear the Germans are in the ascendancy of this fight. Especially with all these Panthers coordinating it with each other's help. It's a very hard front to fight. Especially when you can just chew through Germans like they're paper. Like that. Oh boy. I don't think the Allies can actually do anything in time at this point. Yep, at this point it's surrender. A pretty decent game. I hope you'll enjoy it. Lots of Panthers in this one. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye!